We were paid by Mattel to make this video. So we did the super special surprise pancakes. Were they good? But that's not the only Saturday surprise I have for you. I have another surprise. What is it? Hey guys, what's up? It's Raven. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to our weekend routine. Good morning. What's he hey girl? Look at all this hair. What the heck? It just off the walls already. What's under there? Mm -hmm. huh. So on Saturday mornings, we tend to sleep in and wake up late. And I like to take this opportunity since we have some extra time compared to the weekdays to make a really fun kind of like homemade, bigger, more special breakfast. So this time we are making confetti pancakes or funfetti pancakes, sprinkle pancakes, rainbow pancakes, whatever you want to call it. Basically, it's just regular pancakes, but you add rainbow sprinkles to it for a fun little twist. Mix, mix. Wow, look at Chef Zaya. The secret ingredients. So this is gonna turn it into funfetti pancakes. Ooh. Wow. Pancake looking a little flat though. Pancakes, I did pretty good on the last few. Nice and evenly golden brown, and they look like normal pancakes from the outside, but there's a surprise inside, right? What's the surprise? Let's put some butter. Make sure we get butter on each layer. Ooh. Then, let's see, can you cut up some strawberries? Do you know how to do this? Let's get some big juicy ones. And you cut it right in front of the green part. You gotta go back and forth. Then you cut it in half this way. Now you try. Cut the green part off. You gotta hold it. Hold it tight. Go back and forth. Push hard. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Push hard, hard, hard. Almost got it. Almost. Good job. Now turn it the other way and cut it in half like I did. Like this. Can you do another one? We can put a little bit of extra sprinkles on top. Look, they're running away. Then, a little bit of syrup. It needs the sprinkles. Yum. Is that a good Saturday morning breakfast? Are you excited to eat that? Does it look good? Mmm, you're a good cook. What should we call this? What should be the name of it? Strawberry sprinkle. Different kind of rainbow pancakes. Okay, strawberry sprinkle, different kind of rainbow pancakes. Yum. Um, 
Milk. What? Milk. Hmm? Milk. That's not how you ask for things. What are you supposed to say? Milk, please. Say, Mommy, may I have some milk, please? Mommy, may I have some milk, please? Yes, you may. Now, let's cut into it and see the surprise inside. Wow, look. It's colorful on the inside. Yeah, let's put some on your plate. And some strawberries. Because you gotta have a little bit of fruit with all this sugar, I guess. Okay, ready? That's a big bite. Ready, go. Mmm. Careful, don't drop it. Is it good? Look, it's colorful on the inside. So obviously we don't eat super sweet stuff like this for breakfast every day, but on the weekends, I just like to do something a little bit special just to have fun and spend some quality time together. So we did the super special surprise pancakes. Were they good? But that's not the only Saturday surprise I have for you. I have another surprise. What is it? You wanna see what it is? Okay, go brush your teeth, wash your face, and put some clothes on, and then I'll show you what it is. Okay, so I have Zaya's surprise in here, in my glam room. So, she doesn't know this yet, but our friends over at Mattel sent over another big box full of Barbies. Zaya loves Barbies, I love Barbies. We're always super excited to be able to work with Mattel and get packages from them. So I have had it hiding in my glam room with this uh, backdrop over it. So they have sent over some of their Barbie fashionistas, the Barbie fashionista line, as well as the Barbie dream closet is in here, which is really cool. I'm super excited to show Zaya. I think she's gonna really like it. But the cool thing about the Barbie fashionistas is that they are so diverse. I literally did not know that they had this, and this is not even all of them. They have, I think it's over a hundred different dolls and they're all so diverse. It's different body types, different shapes and sizes, different heights, all types of different hair colors and textures and styles, skin tones. I mean, the, the fashion styles of course are all different, but just, I am amazed at like the work that Barbie has put in recently to just represent so many different types of, you know, types of people in the world, different types of dolls to represent different types of people. This is so cool. Like this one, she's bald. This one has a prosthetic. This one has these long braids, which is really cool. I've never seen, I don't think I've ever seen a Barbie with braids like this before. And she's like got a different body shape as well. And we can't forget about the boys as well. There's a bunch of different Boy dolls, like this one has lavender hair. And then I really like this guy, this guy with the long hair. He's got his little tie-dye shirt on. He looks kind of like a surfer dude, kind of. This guy's a little bit more hipster. Oh, and then this one, she's like got either birthmarks or like vitiligo. That is so cool. All the different skin tones and representation. Like this one has a totally different face structure along with the skin tone. So it's like not just switching up the skin tones. Like it's not just the same doll with darker or lighter skin. Like they have different features, like different bone structure, different hair textures. Like this one has the kinkier hair texture. So yeah, there is a ton of stuff in this box. Zaya is so spoiled. Shout out to Mattel for sending all of this over. I think this is really cool, not only because it's so much easier now to find a doll that you personally like kind of resonate with. You can find a doll that looks like you. Like if your child, whether it's a little boy or a little girl, if they have vitiligo, if they have alopecia, like they can find dolls that they can kind of relate to. And I think that's really cool. But also I just feel like for me as a millennial parent and just for millennial parents, I mean, every generation has their own struggles every generation has their own kind of generational thing that they have to go through different stuff going on in the world but for us millennial parents right now obviously 
the current climate is a little bit crazy. There's a lot going on. There's a lot of layers to it and it can be kind of difficult to talk to your kids about what's going on in the world. And it's just kind of difficult to navigate sometimes, but using things like playtime can kind of help you navigate through that and kind of just teach your kids empathy and teach your kids about diversity and teach your kids about you know people who may not look like them and how we need to accept everybody no matter what they look like or who they are and i think that like these types of dolls can really help kind of start off those very important conversations Look what it is! My Barbie. Barbies! These are the Barbie fashionistas. And you got all the Barbie dolls, but also look at this. You got the Barbie dream closet! What do you think about that? Our friends at Mattel sent this over. You wanna open this up and play with it today? different hair and skin and outfits. Let's lay them all out and see which ones we want to open up first. Bougie, you like it? Which one do you like, Bougie? The wheelchair? Yeah, he likes this one. Okay, Bougie wants to open up one of the wheelchair girls. I'm gonna open up this one because it's perfect. Okay, grab that one. I want to open up this one. She has balded hair. Balded hair? She's bald, she has no hair, because some girls don't have any hair. Did you know that? You have a little hair. Yeah, I only have a little bit of hair too. You said you like this one, I think, with the navy blue hair. Yeah. I like the girl with braids. Oh. Yeah, that one too. Oh, and it came with a ramp in case she needs help. Like you have a Barbie camper over there. It came with a ramp so she can get into the camper. Oh, what about the long hair guy? I like it. We got some of our Hi. people open, but we gotta open the big box, the Barbie dream closet. Yeah. It comes with a doll and all this like dress up stuff. You see what kind of stuff? Like, what's that? That's for a- uh, Doctor. You know what that's for? Scuba diver. And then it has all this stuff, a full length mirror. It's two feet wide, it comes with 25 pieces. It has a rotating clothing rack. It has hangers. All types of stuff. Let's open it and see. Yeah, we gotta set it all up. So of course, a big part of our weekend routine is that extra play time. Zaya always wants me to play Barbies with her and stuff like that. So not only is it quality time between her and I, but it's also an opportunity to open up conversations and have teaching moments like I mentioned before. Girl, what are you? Can't see. Oh. I'm in here. Ah. Ah. You scared me. We have to get ready for our fashion show. All of our friends are here waiting for us to show our new outfits. Okay. What are you gonna wear for the show? This. Ooh, I love that blue dress. What do you think I should wear? I was thinking about wearing this blue sparkly dress right here. Maybe you should pick some, from something from my closet. I have all new kinds of things. I can just turn this around up here. Did wow, you, you have a rotating closet? Did you know how I get on the roof? No, I did not know how you got on the roof. Thanks for sharing your shoes with me. That was really thoughtful. You really think this outfit's really good on me? Yeah, it looks great on you. I love the jacket with the dress. Super fashionable. What do you think about my dress on me? Um, it looks cute. It is really fashionable. 
Oh, thanks. Oh, Daisy's at the door. Oh, she's got a new outfit on, looking good. Come on in. Hi. Hey, girl. Okay, so we've got our runway set up. Can you straighten out the runway? Next up, we have this awesome look with the skinny jeans and striped shirt. Sorry, a little. I'm looking on my watch what time it is. And a fashionable yellow watch. Check out this neon leopard print top and metallic gold skirt. And she's rocking those braids. And by the way, parents, the Barbie Dream Closet, Fashionistas, and Fashions are available at Target, Walmart, and Amazon. And then watch this. When the fashion show is over and you're done playing, all you have to do is close it up, just like that. You can leave everything inside. And then you just put the latch down like this. And look, boop, ready to go. And you could like take it like this to Grammy's house or something if you wanted to ever bring it over there. You just fold it up and bring it wherever you want. So this is the weekend, can we go? You wanna to go to Grammy's house right now? You going to Grammy's house? Grammy can pick up Zaya, go for a little play date, and she's got all her stuff packed up. Let me see. Got everything packed up in there. Mm hmm. And you got the dolls that you're bringing. Okay, see you later. Bougie, you're not going. You stay here. So Zaya is at Grammy's house. Going to Grammy's house is like going to the state fair. All you can eat, all you can play, no rules. <laughs> going to Grammy's house is always um, a treat for Zaya. So she likes to always do that like on the weekends. And it gives me a chance to have a little bit of alone time. I mean, I don't have any like plans with friends or anything this weekend. Also, it's kind of hard right now with everything going on to like make outside plans with outside people. But I do have a little bit of work to do. Today is Saturday and I always have new videos go up on Sundays. So um, usually like on Friday and Saturday, I just try to make sure that Sunday's video is ready to go. And I don't think I finished. So I'm just gonna finish that up while Zaya has a little bit of a play date at Grammy's house. And then I'll probably go pick her up pretty soon. All right, so it's been a couple hours. Zaya is still at Grammy's house. I am going to take a nice little drive over to Grammy's house so I can scam some di I mean, have a nice family dinner cooked by Chef Tony that I did not have to cook myself. So let's go, shall we? Major upside to having your parents living in the same city as you is number one, the babysitting and the help with the child and all of that. But number two, let's not forget the home cooked meals. They don't call her Chef Tony for nothing. And I will gladly take this food. Thank you very much. What's on the menu, Chef Tony? Oh, <laughs> so happy you asked. I am trying to be healthy. I am oops, roasting some vegetables. I have sweet potatoes, red onions, and red bell peppers. And on the bottom shelf, I have eggplant and Brussels sprouts. And I am chopping some lovely okra. It's just lovely. Is it just veggies on the menu? I have to go no, I got some shrimp. I'm trying to do less meat since I did eat a big old slab of brisket and ribs for lunch. Oh, so you had the brisket and ribs and invited me over for vegetables. <laughs> So weekends are also family time for us. So we tend to always go over to my mom's house for dinner or do some sort of family activity. And then we like to FaceTime the family members who live out of town. Hi. Hi. So it's Sunday now and it's already 
5.20 p.m. Honestly, we have not been doing much of anything today. Just more playing with toys, playing with Barbies, watching YouTube videos, um, chilling, eating, hanging around the house. We didn't go anywhere, we didn't do anything spectacular today. And that is honestly how most of our weekends go. But one thing typically has to happen on Sundays and that is that it is hair washing day. So I have to tackle Zaya's hair. So she's in the bathtub over here right now. And honestly, I went two weeks. I went two weeks, which I don't think I've ever done that without um, re-washing and re-fully detangling her hair. She's had it in a ponytail this whole time and it's looking, it's looking quite tangled. So I'm feeling like this is about to be a whole ordeal, but we got to get it done so that she is fresh for school. And I do have videos on my channel all about her hair washing routine, um, how I wash and detangle it, some styles that I've done on her hair. If you guys want to know more about that, you can definitely check out those videos. But yeah, let me get to work. Zaya's got her fresh style for school. Let me see. Wow. Two ponytails on each side. Two ponytails on each side. You actually have one, two, three, four, five on each side, technically. Strike a pose. Boom. Is that your pose? Okay, pose to the front. Boom. Ooh, looking good. Fresh hairdo for school tomorrow. I want to be. There's like three, over 300 stories in there, so you gotta pick one. The party zoo. Every evening, the zookeeper closed up the zoo for the night and went into bed. <laughs> Story too. Come here. <laughs> okay, everybody's acting crazy. It's bedtime. Lay back down. Let's read this story and go to bed because you have school in the morning. What? <laughs> Lay down, silly girl. It's bedtime. You're getting all wound up. It's time to lay back and relax. The party zoo. Every evening, the zookeeper closed up the zoo for the night and went to bed in his zookeeper's hut. And as he drifted off to sleep, Monkey smiled a mischievous little smile. The end. You see me give away those baby shoes that I don't need anymore. You talking about those shoes up there in your closet? Yeah. Why do you want me to give them away? I was gonna keep them just in case you ever had a little sister who needed them. I'm not having another baby again. You don't want me to? Okay, I like it when you always give me cuddles. You don't want a little sister because you think she'll steal away your cuddle time? Yeah, and she just push away you when she gets like three years old. And then she'll like just take me, swap me out of the bed and throw, a, throw me outside of the bedroom and then she'll just sleep inside of my bedroom. I don't think she'll do all that. I think if you had a little sister, you guys could be really nice to each other and I would have enough time for both of you. Close your eyes. It's time for bed. We were paid by Mattel to make this video.